What up, 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 what up. I'm going to give a few uh, seconds for people to check in. Hopefully I can get five people on this joint. Uh, just finished having a great conversation with some people out in Sasua. Uh, so, uh, just waiting for a couple of people to check in. This is a uh, topic that I think everybody needs to talk about. Uh, that's affecting all of us. Welcome, 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 welcome. As promised, that I will be going more often live on YouTube. I want to thank everybody for coming to my YouTube channel. So the kid that get good on song. Serge, what up? What up, homie? What's up, my dude? At this time, I'm gonna do a uh, shout out. So if you got shout outs, anybody wants to get a shout out? Shadow, what up? Shadow is out in Susua doing her thing. Uh, lucky you, lucky, lucky you, lucky you, lucky, lucky you. I want to be able to uh, talk to people about COVID-19 and how they're dealing with COVID in Susua. Um, I got some friend of mine, some real good friend of mine out there right now, as well as I, they're finished talking to my man who uh, was the mayor of Susua. This is a good friend of mine. And I asked him some simple questions about COVID and how are they able to deal with it and how they're able to have such a low rate of people. <laughs> yeah, I did my tea in Columbia. For all those people who want to, yes, I went to Columbia. Dr. Montoya is my guy. Ding! He got my tea done, you know. Now, we, now, I, now, I'm, now I'm working out. Look at that, losing another 20 pounds when I go down to the R uh, in October. But, you know, that's a whole different story. But, um, and thanks for the compliment. Um, and I wanted to talk about COVID uh, because uh, a lot of people I know now is getting to the point that everybody wants to travel. I want to travel. You want to travel. Everybody I know wants to travel or is traveling to certain places. And now is a good time to travel because the air tickets are much cheaper. Depending on where you're flying from. Um, I myself am uh, supposed to be in Susua October 29th. And the reason why I'm going, a couple of reasons, is number one is my birthday. So if you see me out there and you're out there, just come by, say what up. I'm an approachable guy. I'm not caught up in this YouTube stuff. You know, I'm blessed to do bigger and better things. YouTube for me is a. Um, they say, I got a chance to talk shit to y'all and give you a little bit about my knowledge, and that's about it, all right? Um, and second of all, because like a lot of people, I've been very concerned about COVID-19 and how does people deal with it traveling? From one of my young homies just getting back around two weeks ago and him being all right and quarantining in the home line, to people that I know that are there right now as I speak, they are down there right now. So here's the deal. Number one, be before you go out there, you got to test yourself. You got to take a test. You got to take a test, and you have to do it on the worst scenario five days before you fly out. So you got five days before you get on that plane to show them your test. If if you're positive or negative, hopefully you're negative, to be able to fly. So that's number one. You have to take your test. You have to take a COVID test. Find out where you can get your test. And once you're able to get your test, you're able to get on your flight and you're able to go where you need to go. That's number one. Number two, once you arrive at POP, they're going to test you again. They're going to double check to make sure that you're coming in the country and you're coming to the country and you don't have COVID. All right, so you get that test before you get in there. You show them the paperwork when you land in POP. They're gonna ask you for the paperwork and they're going to test you. Some people, depending on the test, they're gonna let you slide, some people are not. Okay, but the moment you arrive 
it is extremely important that number one, when you travel in your plane, this is the uncomfortable part, depending on where you're coming from, that you wearing your mask all the time, unless of course you're going to eat. Um, if you're able to fly, like some of us are able to fly on mint and find out what there is, uh, you're able to get that 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 joint where you by yourself, nobody around you. Maybe you can take your mask off a little longer time than the regular people. I suggest that you get the cover one and you get that, that big joint that covers you to see through. That's what I'm going with. So once you do that, uh, and once you get, uh, you got to make sure the people that pick you up have the mask. You have to make sure that you're constantly, they're making sure that people are constantly washing their hands. They are, and not only that, every resident of the Dominican Republic gets free testing for COVID. If you have symptoms, if you're not feeling well, go to the doctor and you don't have to pay and they will take care of you. If you have the symptoms and you're not feeling good and you know for some reason you have to um, quarantine, you have to let the person here the things if wherever you're at, if you're in a hotel, you gotta let them know. If you're in an Airbnb, you have to let them know. And you have to make sure that the Airbnbs that you're staying at uh Airbnbs that have uh certification to allow people to come and stay at their place because they have done the proper steps in cleaning they Airbnb. Everybody doesn't have that certification. So it's important that you, you, you make sure that these people are taking care of where you staying at, that those sheets are mad clean, that, that they spray in the rooms, that they have all type of disinfectant to clean the whole thing. When you go to the place and the people you come to see to clean the place, you got to make sure that they're wearing their gloves, that they're wearing their masks, that they're actually very, very protected. So you got to check this. Once again, you better check the spot where you're staying at. Make sure they're legit, that they're following rules and regulations. Don't let nobody give you the really bubble. Okay? Now, once you're in the sewer, or once you're in the country, it's, you have to wear your mask all the time in the street. So this is how this works, guys. You have to wear your mask because they, they have noticed that they have very, very low numbers of people with it, but the majority of the people that have been infected is because they have not worn their masks. Now, in the tourist areas of the country, they give in the tourists for some reason is they're not so hard on you like they are on the people that live in the country. So the tourists sometimes, you know, when you go to eat dinner, you want to eat on the outside. You want to eat lunch, whatever. You got to make sure it's an outside place. Um, um, when you so when you when you when you when you when you go to places, recommend that you eat at places that are outdoors. Um, you recommend that you have to see that everybody that works there has a mask. Anybody that works there is is gloved up. Everything is clean. You have to see these people constantly cleaning. You have to see that when somebody leaves, you have to see how the waiter comes and cleans that table that you're going to sit at or another table when somebody else was at. Always check the way that they clean the place. The way that they clean the place is going to tell you if the place is legit or not. So, tourists, um, <laughs> They want me to talk about the prices that mine goes one out there. I, I'm gonna tell you right now. When and, and this is what I'm gonna do, guys. When I'm out there, I can speak about those prices. But always remember, and, and I don't want to go off what I'm doing now. Um, so when I'm out there, um, I'm gonna talk about the prices on the mangoes. I, I promise I'll do that because I, I want to know what the prices are and what they're dealing with there. Because the problem over there also is there's no consistency on what is it that they're charging. Because some people 
throw the money at them and you know and some people just not using comments you know nah, nah that's not that's that's not a that 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 you mean pesos i think you know i don't know so um so yeah guys so you got to make sure that when you pick up the mango that the mango is um the mango is um, cover up. Uh, the mango looks like, you know, make sure that the mango is constantly disinfected in the wash. Um, when you, when you, when you, when you get the mango off the market, make sure you're at the right market. Make sure that when you, uh, just like any fruit, just like you should be doing, Wash, make sure the wine, the, not only the mango is washed and clean and disinfected before you take uh, take it from the market, is that when you get to your location, make sure that that mango is washed again and disinfected again. And uh, you have to constantly be disinfected. That is correct, Mr. Washington. Constantly be disinfected. You have to do that. You have to be more careful now than before. And here's another thing. If you've been there before and you have regular mangoes and you know that your mangoes have not been in the market, I suggest that that's the mango that you're going to get when you get out there. You want to go and get the mangoes that you deal with. You have to if I was you, like for me, I don't I don't go in the market. I um uh, I see uh, how much uh, the mangoes been in the market, what they doing. I constantly check on them. I mean, nobody's one hundred percent safe, but at the same time, uh, different uh, scenarios, different things that are going out there has changed everything on how you go to the market and get the mango. So, and so, with that said, from Monday to Friday, um, you have to be in your crib at 7 p.m. Uh, Saturdays and Sundays, 5 p.m. Um, keep your distance, six feet. Uh, wear masks all the time. Make sure you're washing your hands all the time. Carry carry you gotta carry this man you gotta take you gotta make sure this bottle is gonna be too big to go but you can go in the and you can get the small ones like this that allow this much in the uh, in on the plane make sure that you're constantly taking care of yourself make sure all right you got to make sure that that you are completely disinfected. And uh, don't be shy to put this in people's hands, in mango's hands. Be careful with people that are serving you. Uh, be careful about, you know, some of y'all got a bad habit of drinking after other people. Uh, protect yourself. Be careful. Be careful. Be careful. All right? Listen, man, I appreciate y'all checking me out. Uh, I'm going to try to do another live before uh, sometime next week. I also promised I was going to talk about real estate. And what I think, what I want to do is, this is what I want to do, guys. I am going to do a live coming up. I'm just going to touch on the subject a little bit. But what I'm going to do is that I am going to allow you um, they're going to allow you I, I was reading though. Big G, what up? Um, to ask all the questions that you want to answer when it comes about real estate. I'm not calling people out because that's not what I do. I'm not talking about other people's videos because I just don't watch them.
But I do read some of my comments and I do read what people be asking and some people be reaching out to me that they know me and they ask me about the real estate and they really want to know what's the 411 and how it goes down. So what I'm going to do to benefit everybody on my YouTube channel is that when I am in the air, I guarantee either depending on the internet, I'm going to go live or I am going to... Um, no problem, no problem. Or I'm going to record a video and then post it up because you know the internet is bad out there. Is that I'm going to have one of the former mayors of Susua who is also just, you know, because the president lost, they got a new president. He was also the number two in charge of the police department of the entire country. And he has his own law firm. I'm going to be down there October 29th. I arrive. I arrive on October 29th. If God permits, if, if, if everything stays stable the way it is and things get better, I'm there for my birthday. Uh, as of right now, and I, do, I, I was hoping to do a party. People are faking. I wanted to do a day party. I'm trying to work on doing a day party because at night, it's not the same. So at night, it's not like you're doing parties at 3 in the morning. That's not happening. So I might want to do a day party. I'm still waiting for my people down there to come through. Uh, some people are both jangling. I don't have time for all that crap, all right? So once again, the next video, I'm just going to touch a little bit on the subject about real estate. But I'm doing that because I want to be able to get people to write and give me questions that they have because there are a lot of concern and there are a lot of people that are getting got and we don't want to get got. I do my videos for Americans to be on the safe side, Latinos to be on the safe side, all right? That's what I'm about. Listen, I'm officially out of here. Se te quiero de aquí de corazón. My name is Antonio, the Cuban Cigar Smoker, and I'm out.